وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise for Allah Lord of the Worlds, and peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, his companions, and all those who strive to follow in their footsteps. My dear viewers, brothers, and sisters, welcome to another episode of Quran and Science. And in this episode, we'll be discussing uh, the formation of mountains. And for this, we have with us in the studio our very dear and special uh, guest, the Professor of Geology, uh, Dr. Zaghloul Nagar. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show. I'd like also to introduce my uh, dear brothers and uh, guests uh, in this episode. Uh, we have with us uh, Abdurrahman Ismail and Zabihullah Kareem. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, before we start with, uh, with explanation uh, or more scientific explanation of the formation of the mountains, we'll go to this verse and we'll turn back, so stay tuned. <laughs> وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَن تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ وَأَنْهَارًا وَسُبُلًا لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ He has cast into the earth firm mountains, lest it quake with you, and rivers and roadways, so that you may be guided. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. You're watching Quran and Science. And uh, I'll start first by uh, Abdurrahman uh, Ismail. Uh, once you listen to this verse, uh, what, what is the meaning that you're getting behind this verse? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I get from this verse that uh, Allah is enumerating to us some of His many bounties. He's telling us that He has cast into earth firm mountains that keep the earth. Uh, uh, from shaking or convulsing and he has also extended rivers and, uh, uh, and it's a way it's a way to balance earth yes okay and uh, and the second part of uh, the verse and to mean bikum anharan wasuban alakum tahtadun what does it give you uh, um, according to my own understanding uh, Allah is telling us that uh, mountains and rivers could be used for directions or for mm -hmm. knowing your way. Mm -hmm. okay. um, maybe Good. there is a scientific connotation that I can't get from the verse. Okay, thanks for that. We'll be uh, we'll discussing that with uh, Professor uh, Zaghroul. Uh, what about you? Uh, uh yeah, as my brother mentioned, that the the point that is directly coming to mind is that mountains created for to keep the balance of the of the earth and yes. the rivers just to show you the direction where are you going and mm -hmm. do not mm, what do you feel seeing the mountains uh, you've told me before that you uh, are used to climbing mountains yeah what do, what do you feel yeah it, it, the feeling is great especially mm -hmm. afghanistan is a mountain uh, country we have yes. lots of mountains Especially the Green Mountain is very beautiful. So it's one of your yes. hobbies to be climbing yeah, mountains. To climb mountains. Great. So you are a right guest in, in, yeah. in this case. Okay, let's uh, now move uh, to Dr. Zaghloul. And uh, um, these are the feelings that uh, uh, and the meanings that he got from this verse. Uh, we need to know the professional interpretation. Uh, I begin uh, in the name of Allah, our Creator, the Creator of the universe and of everything that's in it. And I greet you all in our Islamic way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah's peace, blessings, and mercy be with you all. Um, mountains have been mentioned in the Quran in 39 different verses. And every single one of these verses is um, a scientific information or a piece of scientific information uh, by itself. And this particular verse is really unique. Allah says, وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَةً أَنْ تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ 
وانهارا وسبلا لعلكم تهتدون and uh, until very recently all uh, scientists believed uh, that mountains are surface uh, elevations are surface prominences but only uh, since the late uh, 1960s scientists start to realize that every single uh, prominence on the surface of that globe has got a downward extension 10 to 15 times its surface elevation. So a high peak like Everest, which is slightly less than uh, 9 kilometers, has got a downward extension of more than 100 kilometers. It penetrates the outer rocky cover of the Earth completely and floats in a zone of weakness called the asthenosphere, or the zone of weakness, wherein the rocks are found in a molten or a semi-molten stage. By this, mountains are actually real stabilizers for the Earth in many senses. Before I uh, go to that, I would like to um, emphasize the fact why Allah says وَأَلْقَى and Allah, and He meaning Allah subhanahu wa has thrown into the Earth stabilizers lest it should shake with you. Um, the process of formation of mountains can either uh, take place by volcanic eruption where you can get a volcanic mountain or by uh, the sedimentation of sediments. So you, are, you, you throw down or throw up the material by which the, the mountains are formed. So it's a physical process of throwing either upwardly or downwardly. Uh, the more sediments ac that ac can accumulate at the ocean bottom, uh, once the bot uh, ocean bottom uh, moves under the continent, these sediments are scraped off and thrown on the continental mass in the form of mountains. So it is actually a process of throwing, either upwardly or downwardly. So when Allah says, This is a unique expression. And Allah has thrown into the earth stabilizers less, less shake with you. How can mountains stabilize the earth? The mass of the earth is estimated at 6,000 million, million, million tons. The, the uh, bulk of any mountainous chain would be far less than that. How can mountains stabilize the earth? And as we mentioned in a previous episode, uh, the word earth comes in the Quran with three meanings. If you compare the earth with the moon or the, the sun or the other heavenly bodies, it's the total planet. If you speak about uh, the, the place where uh, uh, humans live and animals and plants grow, animals live and plants grow, it's the continental mass we, we are sitting on. Uh, if you speak about the, uh, the soil and its reaction with water and, and the like, it's, it's the soil section. And the meaning can be understood with the context of the verse. So when we say, um, uh, It covers both the total planet as well as the continental mass which we are living on. And the word rawasi means stabilizers? Stabilizers, yes. Something stabilizers. that would stabilize, mm -hmm. uh, cause stabilization. Mm -hmm. uh, the earth as it rotates around its own axis, it wobbles. And this wobbling would make life on the surface impossible. And the distribution of mountains on the surface of that globe, either north-south, like the mountains on the western side of the two Americans, or east-west, like the Alps, the Himalayas, and the uh, rest of the mountains, uh, the uh, Atlas, uh, northern Africa. Uh, this distribution simulates putting little lead pieces around the car tire. Because any object running in a straight line will walk.